Hello! Welcome to TLE Online Hack. After learning about the basic concepts of preparing stocks, sauces, and soups, we will now focus on the preparation of the five mother sauces. These mother sauces are of French origin that serve as basis for a variety of sauces that are used to complement countless dishes. If you are new to this channel, I will post the link of the lesson on the description box below. Tomato sauce, hollandaise, espanol, velouté, and bechamel sauce. These are the mother sauces that we will prepare today. Let's start with the bechamel sauce. To make the bechamel sauce and other sauces, the first step is to make the roux. This is made up of equal portions of fat and starch that acts as the thickening agent for the sauce. Melt the butter and cook the flour on low heat for 1 to 2 minutes but don't let the mixture turn brown. Cooking the flour removes its starchy taste. Since bechamel sauce is white in color, we need to have a white roux. After cooking the flour, add the whole milk gradually. This will thicken the mixture immediately, so we need to stir it continuously to avoid lumps and to avoid burning the milk. Stir until all the milk is added. At this point, you can also add your preferred seasonings. Cook the sauce just until it thickens enough to coat your mixing tool. This will get thicker as it cools down. This creamy sauce serves as a base for other sauce like cheese and mornay sauce. Velouté Sauce To make velouté sauce, a blonde roux is needed. Just cook the flour on melted butter just until the mixture turns a very light golden brown color. Blonde roux is cooked a little longer than white roux. For this sauce, a white stock is added. It can be chicken, fish, veal, or vegetable stock. Stir until all the white stock is added and add your preferred seasoning and spices. Cook until all the mixture coats the mixing tool. The famous derivative of this sauce is the Aleman sauce. Espanol sauce for espanol sauce, a brown roux is needed. Melt the butter and cook this until it turns an amber color. Then add the flour and cook for another minute. Add the brown stock. This stock can be made of beef, veal or chicken and vegetables that are roasted to brown the ingredients. Stir until all the stock is added. Add tomato paste and your preferred seasonings and spices. Add more stock if needed and cook until it thickens. Demi glass is one of the famous derivatives of Espanol. Tomato sauce To make tomato sauce, make a shallow egg cut on the bottom of the tomatoes and blanch it on boiling water. This helps in peeling the tomatoes easier. Peel the tomatoes, cut, and remove the seeds. Try to catch the juice while removing the seeds. 
Sweat the onion on low heat and add the tomatoes. When the mixture boils, add salt and pepper and mix until the juice is reduced. Then, cool this a bit and blend it smooth. You can reheat this and reduce the juice further and add more seasonings if needed. Famous derivatives of this sauce are marinara and puttanesca sauce. Hollandaise sauce In a bowl, combine egg yolks and lemon juice. The lemon juice will help in the emulsion of the sauce. Beat this until the mixture is fluffy and the color turns pale yellow. Then place the bowl on top of pot with simmering water and stir continuously. Make sure that the water from the pot does not touch the bottom of the bowl or else the egg mixture will turn into scrambled eggs. Add the melted butter gradually while stirring quickly. Do this until all the butter is added. And cook this until it coats the back of the spoon. Bernays is the most common derivative of Hollandaise. And we're done with the 5 mother sauces. Sauces will get thicker as they cool down so make sure to reheat and add the right amount of liquids before serving or serve them immediately. That's it for today. As always, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.